that went to a 30th party, she went up to a hotel, done coke with some guys, been married two years with kids, been together 14 years, I'm 34, she's 35, I'm the breadwinner, should I piss away my marriage and afraid for my two boys and my other boy on the way? Uh, I would do a paternity test, bro. You know what I mean, man, your, your wife doing some whole shit, you, I would do a paternity test, number one, and then, I mean, that's the biggest form of betrayal, bro, like... I'm curious to know how he found out about this uh, yeah, scenario here. Yeah, I'm interested to know that too. Did she tell him? This or? from the prior show. Yeah, his his wife went on a boat party with some people, didn't tell him, and then she went up to a hotel room and did cocaine with some guys. Bro. Yeah. Okay, so did he? Did she just do like cocaine, or were there like other activities? Because I feel like there's a movie. I apologize. There's a movie like this. Like, I mean, she probably did coke, mind you, and you know, do whatever drug you want. But she probably did coke before she was like a stay-at-home mom. So did she do anything else, or was she just trying to spark something in her, like from her golden years without being either a way wife or... it don't matter she did it that's messed coke, up coke doing coke or like being with men what are the what are it's the both. things you're upset with? Yeah. let me mind you coke i mean like you know the mother of my child you should have like did your party phase blah 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 right i can understand that but is she he said that he wants to piss away his marriage did she do something with the men or was it like oh i have a little jay you want to come out here oh what's going on with you all right bye y'all have a great day like what what was the interaction I you know what i'm saying well, we we, anyway, we always know. tell guys not to get with girls that do drugs period i feel like yeah coke 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 is a drug drug you know what i'm saying like i mean i'm not gonna judge anyone do whatever you like i mean this i mean wife, you know i, I mean like honestly if, like drugs are drugs at if the, end of the, the roles day. were reversed though right and that was your husband you know he went to a hotel with a bunch of women and coat would that make you feel some type of way if you guys do have children together no yeah. definitely but i'm asking what is the point of him being upset her doing drugs i would say she just, like, she but she also just told the you. possibility there's the possibility no, that there kids. could have been something that happened there without you knowing because who's going to admit to that Definitely. I mean, it's bold enough to even admit that you went to a hotel and did coke with somebody, let alone yeah, if you're actually, you know, fucking. We don't know if she admitted it. He, he found out. We don't know how he found out, though. Right. I mean, so it's a lot to, saying, do, like, to go to any place without your partner knowing. I mean, I just right, think that you but should I'm saying, tell like, people where you are. It's interesting to hear their the perspective. The point on. is, it was drugs and niggas. That's an L. No matter how you look yeah. at it. Well, yeah. I mean, drugs. I, mean I don't think I mean, piss it away. Don't just justify drugs. her actions. I'm not going to justify her actions, but I'm like. Stop questioning her actions. Well, with me, I would, I don't. I don't do like drug drugs. I have too many eggs in my family. Are you sure? That. Yeah, I like a little, you know. <laughs> but oh. I mean, that's not a drug drug. That's an herb. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to do like drug drugs. You know what I'm uh, saying? I like you better when you talk less. Well, uh, I like ooh. you better when you didn't address me with such a respectful or disrespectful tone. Ooh. What? Ooh. This is my personality. If you don't like it, then that's fine. She got you there, friend. I'm, I'm the trolling hell, you. What the hell's wrong girl through you? Like, okay, you taking it uh, too personal? No, 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 I'm not actually. I think it's like really cute. Okay, okay, okay so that's like a bit too much with the trolling. Okay. What the f Yo, what, what drug are you on? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Life, right? She's on life. Uh, oh my god. I love that. Thank you, Chris. All right. Uh <laughs> Okay, anyone else? I don't know. I don't know. I would say I wouldn't piss the marriage away if it's something you're happy with or you know, you worked with. I would conversate with her, talk to her. See, if see where her out. head is. Yeah. And maybe regardless... I don't know. Some people give second chances, some people don't. If you're not feeling it, that's your marriage. Fuck I'll tell you where her away. head was. But <laughs> I, I. Yeah, probably. I mean, and you're already a few kids in. You have bigger responsibilities to be worrying about in this situation. I mean, you know, once you decide to have kids with somebody, it doesn't only commitment. come down to just you and that person anymore. You now have other people to consider with what you do moving forward. So you should keep a cheating wife around. No, but the conversation she didn't she cheat. should be a broader she didn't conversation. Cheat. You don't. You don't consider being on a boat with yes. a bunch of dudes and doing cocaine I with men in a hotel, hotel room cheating. Oh, I, yeah, I would, because okay, right. if my man did that, I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're tell because... me where you're going. Like, <laughs> There's I mean... a lot that they have to sit down and See, talk you wouldn't about... even tolerate it from a man, and men are more predisposed to, you know, to want to have sex with other people. So, like, yeah. if a woman yeah, does it, no. it's even worse. No, it's yeah. I'm not tolerating I mean, that from nobody. Just hiding the sheer fact that you went somewhere without your partner knowing if you're married to So now you're children. changing your mind? No, no, no I wasn't uh -huh. changing my mind in the beginning. I was asking why he's upset, because she did coke, or because she um, was with men, or a third, because she did all this without telling him. All the I'm oh, asking yeah. why he's upset. All of the above. Because, I mean, you could be yeah. upset about Just someone doing coke. Yourself. No, I'm not. You could be upset about someone doing coke. You could be upset about someone having conversations with 
the different gender or you can be upset about someone going to an event that you didn't know about. So what was he upset about initially? It's, it's all the Because you don't above. know if he does coke either. You don't know if they met at a club he's jealous 25 he years ago <laughs> in the bathroom <laughs> doing coke. You don't know how they get to know what he's upset about. I think it depends it's all on the above because on our podcast, one of the biggest things we tell guys is to avoid girls that are alcoholics and avoid girls that do drugs. I mean, I think that yeah. goes for both mm-hmm. genders, though. You don't want... Both genders. Know, a woman doesn't really want a man that, you know, is alcoholic or does drugs and vice versa. But don't, don't, you, don't you want a, don't you want a relationship do. where, you, like, you both have freedom to do whatever you want and, like, you still come back and love each other? I just don't other? think it should only no. be avoided by Well, no. the problem is that when mm-hmm. girls are alcoholics or do drugs, they be, typically are whores. Well, not all of them. Men are the same. A majority. Sober. You majority. need to know your non-negotiables. Yeah, them, like, the, doing the drugs inhibits your ability to, you know, use a little bit of discernment and, you know, critical thinking. And, you know, women are already emotional and it highlights emotions and it makes them do stupid shit. If a guy goes ahead and has a bunch of sex on drugs, it's not the same as a woman having sex why on not? drugs. Why is it not? Why not? Why, why yeah. is it different? Okay, what's your body count? I don't, I don't know the number, honestly. You don't know it? Okay. Um... I'll just make it simple because so I don't go into like a whole thing. Yeah. A key that opens many locks is a master key. A lock that mm-hmm. opens any key is a shitty lock. Mm-hmm. Men and women are not the same when it comes to sex. Yeah. So, you know, and men don't really ask for much in relationships. The biggest thing that men ask for is like, don't be a whore and of hurt course. the relationship and yeah. be promiscuous and have sex with other people. Mm-hmm. Uh, with a man, he could still fuck another girl and love his chick. A woman can't do the same. I disagree with that. Did you fuck a guy when you were with your guy? Yes. Did you actually like love and respect him then? You think? That's cap, bro. No, the answer is no. no. Yeah. Hell no. no. Because when I a mean... girl's in a committed relationship with a man she actually loves, other men are invisible to her. Yeah. So I agree. Now, yes. are there some so girls that are able, hold on, real quick. Are there some girls that are able to have detached sex? Sure. But what a majority you, can't. But what if you have an open relationship? Well, that speaks to a bigger problem. Whenever I've seen women have open relationships, it means that their guy is very deficient in something that's very important what's that it could could be be a multitude of things it could be he has money but he's extremely unattractive physically or he's just a pussy and soft and she needs that you know assertive attitude to get her aroused or it could be he has uh he's very attractive but he's a brokey so whenever a girl says she wants an open relationship it means that her man is severely lacking something that's required so what does it mean if a man is requesting an open relationship that's him just being a dude vice versa that's just just him him being being a dude. dude Yeah, men are always going to want variety. I think that both... So, but, but women can't have that variety. They don't want that variety. Ideally, women want to typically have one guy that has all the traits that they're looking for. Masculine, attractive, have the money, etc. If you have all that one guy, everyone else is invisible to you. Right. But on the other hand, let's say a guy is with a girl that's perfect. Oh, she's not a whore. She's great. Oh, my God. We still want other women. I mean, do you want multiple dudes? No. There you I go. Mean, so why are you arguing for it? Given, I'm single, so... I'm not in a relationship. But that's the point. Is if you were in a relationship with a guy you actually like, you you wouldn't want to be with other men. What about long distance relationships? It's a little different. That's that's a whole other story. It doesn't change the fact that like, you shouldn't I mean, be doing coke with other men. Look, <laughs> anytime I've seen a girl be in an open relationship with a man, that means a man's a pussy. I don't think so at all. Or he's a whore. I don't think so at all. So well, Betty brings up a good one. The man for that, I was with comment. was very much a good man, respectable. But that doesn't mean he's not a pussy. Beautiful soul. He's not a pussy. And you left what him. dictates a um, not a pussy at all? And you left what him. What dictates that? You left him though. And you left him because yeah. he wasn't because. treating me right. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> but look, what I'm saying is that if a dude lets other men have sex with his girl, he's a pussy. I don't. I disagree. Okay, so that dictates what? That's your definition of. Yeah, because because a a, a tenement of masculinity is. Having women submit and be loyal to you, her having sex with other men is the biggest, like. I can understand that betrayal yeah. of that. I can that. understand that. I can understand that. No, no guy who's you think any like alpha dude is gonna or a masculine man is gonna let a chick his girl have sex with other men. And like it if he <laughs> is comfortable with that. The answer is a profound no. What Only weirdos fuck? and cucks like that, and those are not guys that women yeah. typically go for. Fuck my woman. And your bitch. own your own life experiences show that like you're not with him anymore. Not because of that. But that's a byproduct. That's a byproduct of him being a bitch. No offense. I but that's that's well, a byproduct of him being soft. I don't want to say anything bad about Are him because saying? he's a beautiful person. And, right. I... and you're not with him. Yeah. Which you... proves my point. <laughs> wow. Are you saying? And this is what I'm trying to say. Like, see, this is the thing. A lot of girls will sit there and say, <laughs> oh, I like this and I agree with this, etc. But you're not actually attracted or respected or aroused by it. And I've always said this. Like, women lie about what they really like. 
Like, what you really want is a guy to tell you, shut up, that's dumb, yo, we're going to do this, I don't care what you think, we're going to do this. Women want assertive, dominant men, because if I can stand up to you, that means I can stand up to the world. That means I can actually protect you, because I don't let a woman influence what I do. If I, as a man, I'm supposed to be the leader in the relationship, I'm letting my girl have sex with other men, that effectively shows that I am a bitch. And I am willing to let people walk all over me, because your woman is the one thing that you are going to be the most territorial about. Hypermasculine dominant men don't let their women have sex with other dudes. They're not cucks. Sorry. W. w Sneeko. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyhow. Um, but yeah, the point is, if he can let you do that, then, I mean, does he really like you that much? And it much? shows you're not with him anymore. The proof is in the pudding. Women say one thing, but they behave in another. And I always say, watch your actions, not what she says. Yeah, actions speak louder than words. Yeah. That's for everybody. And I get it. Oh, he had other beautiful traits. But I guess it wasn't enough to keep, for you to stay with him. Yeah. Yeah, I think she understands the undertones of his like growth, but she's just not trying to down someone's character. Are you a lawyer? She understands that. No, she's you know, she's PR, man. Are you a lawyer? Fresh, she's PR, man. Yeah, I just I don't she's like PR, the, I don't fresh. like saying no, bad things friend. about people. You don't have to. You don't have you to. Know. I mean, we're we're. I'm just speaking fairly objectively here. No, it's not I a knock it. on your guy, but I get it. No, I men get it. that I've seen that allow their women to have sex with other men almost always exhibit feminine tendencies. They're soft. They're not necessarily dominant. They're not assertive. They don't have their shit together. They are lacking in some way severely when they let their woman have sex with other men. And it never works out. It never works out whenever guys do this. Yeah. Because women are designed to serve one master, one man. That's typically how one it goes. master? Yes. Master. Or slaves. Master, can, Ma you, can you dive into master that? Yoda. Master Yoda. I don't want to be like uh, aggressive, but Do you, you said master, and I don't want to say Well, yes, number one, it's just, it's, it's a phrase where, uh, you know, you can't serve two masters. But what I'm saying, that's especially emphasized with females. Do you think that men and women should like worship each other and it shouldn't just be like, sorry. Like, like if, I don't, I don't if, think they should worship. I don't think either or should worship the other. But I do absolutely believe that the woman needs to um, like the guy more than he likes her. Worship. For the relationship to actually work, hmm. okay. Because women are harder to please. So since women are harder to please, they need to feel more fulfillment in the relationship. For them to feel more fulfillment in the relationship, they must like the man more. Mm -hmm. No. Why not? Why do you disagree with that? So I think that women naturally are givers. Like we are nurturers, right? So yeah. if we just nurture, 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 give, 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 and you're saying that we should love you or like, are you, you selective? More, I am. Uh -huh. Okay. So however, I wasn't finished with my point. And as I allowed you to, and I'm not doing it like that, but as I allowed you to speak, you should allow me to finish, finish your my, point. Thank you so much. I was saying that just as we're nurturers and we give to, let's say, the smallest little little instinct of like, oh, he did this, he pulled the door open, I'm going to just like make blah, 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 right? Because at the end of the day, women on a generalization, uh, like a level, like that's what we do, right? So I think that the men should actually love the woman a bit more. I feel like as he sees a flower that's beautiful. If he doesn't want to pick it to kill it, he could take a picture of it. I feel like as we are, because mind you, because I've seen a few clips, so like scientifically blaze, based, after you have a child by a man, there is something that goes down within their, I think it's like vasperation or something like that. It's something that goes down with their attraction level. So if they don't love you a thousand times more than they do before you're married, it's never going to work. And that's why we see all these women dying on the tables of BBLs because, or mommy makeovers because we're allowing them to, let's say, feel this like connection that's severed of sorts after they have a child. So I, long story short, I feel like men should love women a bit more just because after a while their love goes down scientifically. After what? They have a child. Okay. <laughs> uh, so let me ask you a few questions. Oh, you said gosh. women nurturers and then the man has to open exactly. the door for her and then you also mentioned a woman Not having... open the door, but like if you see a flower... Well, you gave, the, you gave the specific example of a guy being on a date with a woman, right? No, I said... And if opening the door on a date. No, I said if he sees a flower, he could take a picture no, of it. No, prior to you saying that, you mentioned that he was on a date with her and opening the door. Okay. Right? I don't believe so, but if you I did. did, I had you a few did. drinks. So I wrote I it down. Know. Okay, yeah, well, I good, good. You so, haven't been drinking, great. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's not an excuse for not being competent. But either way, um, the competent point I'm Competent, I am. Okay, the point that you're trying to make. No, you didn't remember bitch. what you just said literally Don't a call second me a ago. Bitch, Chris. Huh? Don't call me a bitch, Chris. So you could remind me without saying that I'm not competent. Shut up, bitch! Okay, anyway. Um, so, Chris. <laughs> your mama, huh? Chris. Um, so you said the guy's <laughs> got to take the girl on a date, and the woman's going to nurture, etc. But you're missing a huge thing. What? What's it? What? You're picky, right? Yourself? You can say. Would most of the ladies here say most guys aren't attracted to you? 
Mm. For different reasons, yes. <laughs> I'm attracted to someone's brain, not really their Okay, looks but um, as much. most men and don't have both. the brain that you're looking for, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. You want them to be yeah, interesting, charismatic. Oh, okay, so yeah. you really enjoy conversation and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you mentioned having a child with the guy, whatever. And women tend to always forget this. You forget that the guy had to get to a certain place for you to even give him a date. You, you forget, forget that the, the man woman had, to, had get... to get to a certain place. No, she didn't. Even get... No, she didn't. And I'll explain why here in okay, a second. Please, I apologize. For, the the guy, for the guy to get the date in the first place, for the guy to even be able to impregnate her, he has to accomplish certain things and be attractive to even get this opportunity. But women, on the other hand, are the ones that are approached. Women are the ones that the guy comes up to them. Women are born with their value. Men must create their value, right? So may I interject right there? Uh, value. So value is subjective, right? So appearance. So even take me for example. You would say, oh. She was birthed like this. I'm 4'11", so even with weight, you can say, oh, she lost 40 pounds. Do you not think that that was inherently valuable for your appearance when you approach me? The prerequisites required for a woman to get a date versus the prerequisites required for a man to get a date are vastly different, and the prerequisites of men are far higher and harder to achieve than women, period. They're different, but I don't think that they're a bit more weight because at the end of the day, it calls for discipline, whichever. So if you're an 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 overweight woman, hold on, hold on, stop, uh, stop. That's fine. An 18 year old woman can be on a yacht with multi millionaires versus an 18 year old man will never get the opportunity. An 18 year old child with her frontal lobe not developed. That's not the point I'm trying to make. Uh, The point I'm trying to make is, is this woman doesn't have any social status, is a nobody and is able to be with the top tier of men. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that the burden of performance is on men. It is not on women. If women want to go ahead and achieve a career and make money, they can, but it is a choice. Men must become successful. Women don't have to be. But it's a choice. Women must be attractive in order to live but, this life, but right? But being attractive but that is comes not... From, but that comes from a generation. So mind you, be. let's say me, I've right? A black bitches. family. We're going to say, look, we do look, Kentucky. Look, no, look, no, 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 look, no, 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 no. I, will, I understand yeah. your point, but we can but, like dead this conversation no. before you cut it off. What? I mean, you could dead the conversation before you cut it off because I wanted to make one huh. more point, but you said, look, 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 look. Well, we're talk- you're trying to deflect right now and go into something else. I don't mean to deflect. I'll mean to answer your question, but if you feel like it's deflection. Go ahead, finish your point. Okay, thank you. So I was saying just as a woman that's 18 had to figure out the ways of being subservient, quiet, and hot, right? Now, mind you, think about coming from Kentucky when your grandmother cooks like maybe three or four times out of the week. So you may have gained a few pounds, maybe southern bell right but you've gained a few pounds so what is the discipline of saying hey i am not going to put this snickers in my mouth but i'm going to make a protein shake i am going to learn I'm that not pro- gonna no, lie. no 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 i'm really okay. confused and lost I don't know. Like, I'm I'm you know, you know, I'm I feel stories. like I no, no. I feel like men are saying, "Hey, we have to, <laughs> uh-huh. we have Where to address we? our ego and make money." But women okay. have to tangent address their tangent. appearance and let's say make sure that they're. The equivalent of what a man. Do you remember what the conversation? Like, do you remember what the original what argument was? Yes, nope. that men and women, that men have a stronger or a powerful way thing. to create themselves, and the no, women to be No, the conversation was that it's harder for men to get that date before a woman could, or something. No, no, no. But, you, do you no, no, think no. it's harder for you to get a date See, with a multi hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> This is a problem, and this is why I've been cutting you off because you don't even remember what you're arguing anymore. What we're arguing is why the woman needs to like the man more. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that was yeah. a long time ago, I, I feel like. No, we've had conversations after that. The conversation No, 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 no. no. That was the happen. original point, and then you went off on a tangent okay, when I tried I to stop you because, because you went off on a tangent. <laughs> See, this is why I need to interrupt you, right? Okay. Now, the word's yeah. so important to you know be a podcast host whatever because if i let you just drone on everyone forgets what the hell we were talking okay, about right. yeah. what i was saying was <laughs> the woman needs to like the man more Women. and the reason why girls the woman needs girls. are you talking about you yo Excuse shut me? up please <laughs> um what i was saying was the woman needs to like the man more because <laughs> the man needs to get to a point where he's even able to get the girl to nurture him because you made the argument oh he opened a door on a date get a kid with him blah 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 i'm saying the man needs to get to a certain point before she even does these things with him the man needs to be attractive but enough to even get the woman. So what I'm trying to say is this. You want to talk about science and numbers. Women initiate 80% of the divorces. Women overwhelmingly initiate the breakups. Women overwhelmingly get bored faster in relationships than men do. These are all facts. So knowing that women get bored in relationships and are more willing to end the relationship, who needs to be more fulfilled in the relationship? The woman. Correct? Yeah. See. For a woman to feel fulfilled in the relationship, she must like the man more and feel like she has the best options she could get so she doesn't go anywhere. 
That is why. It isn't me being an asshole or being misogynistic no. or whatever. It's just simple science that women get bored in relationships and end relationships more. So therefore, they need a higher level of fulfillment. For them to get that higher level of fulfillment, they need to feel like they get the best deal. For them to get the best deal, they need to have the best man. For them to have the best man, they need to feel a certain uh, ador- adoration for that man. I that agree. is why I mean, the woman yes, needs wait, to like the I man agree. more. This, this, That's how I it mean, works. Wait. It's all throughout nature as well. I mean, yeah. this goes on for all animals, insects, whatever it is. You know, the well, party that is more birds. likely to end the relationship <laughs> needs woman. to be more satisfied. Does that make sense? Yes. Emotionally, physically, financially. I mean, if you're looking at it even category? with like animals, but, though, if you're looking at it from an animalistic point of view, say it's like lions or some shit or yeah. even like like peacocks yeah, peacocks yeah. have to have their big beautiful feathers the in order to and attract the men actually uh, yeah exactly the to attract the women the men are the ones that have to attract the woman and the woman decides oh i want you or ew get the fuck away from me mm. so i mean it goes on not only just in you know humans as mammals but all mammals i mean sea creatures too bugs you see it with fucking amphibians, like everything. Your point. It goes on everywhere. But you it's said not just then, with humans. I know. I agree with everything you said. You're right. Like, that's very true. Like, we. Yeah. Since women do, are more I predisposed. I do get bored easily. It's a natural thing. Yeah. And, it's, and there's, they've done studies on this. It's women yeah. overwhelmingly that get bored in relationships more. So, yeah. right. And we have the, the reason why you guys might have never heard this is because we live in a very feminist centric world where we tell women they need to be happy. Any means necessary. They deserve the best man that they can get. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and then we also tell women that the grass is green on, on the other side. So women are very selective on men and they get bored easily. So guys need to be the best version of themselves to keep the girl around. That's really I think what it comes down to. A lot of it, but the girl needs to like him more. Right. That's my I, point. I agree. And I think that a lot of it comes down to like a man's willingness to like stay committed to growth and evolution because a lot of men choose to stay in the comfort zone. And you have to choose growth and evolution if you're with a woman that is like with the longevity that, of the that relationship. Mindset. Yeah. Definitely, because that's that's the the big reason why I've ended relationships is they they don't want to grow and evolve. They want to stay in the comfort zone, and I do not want to stay there. I mean, them. that's fair though. I mean, just maintain should... maintain your frame basically, where the man is always achieving more, doing better. So yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, but, but, but that's said... my oh, well. Go ahead. Me. So say Thank you. Uh-huh. you said I feel that like men. Need... No, no, yeah. You said that men need more variety, though. Yeah. And uh, doesn't it mean that they also get bored? We're not going to end relationships, though. Yeah. Uh. Like, uh. you, you'll be with your girl, <laughs> and you're going to keep your girl. You might have sex with some other girls, but you're going to keep your girl. Why wouldn't they end the relationship? That goes because back. we're not like you guys. We can have sex with other individuals and still love our woman. Women can't really do that. That's why when girls cheat and they have a guy, they feel insanely guilty, and they want to they wanna end the relationship. Or they'll end the relationship before they cheat on him. Because mm-hmm. men and women are different. We look at sex just like, oh, this is an activity. For you guys, it's an emotional investment. You're getting involved with another man. Like women need to cheat. They need to feel something in the head before they get in bed, right? For us, it's like, is she hot? All right, that's enough. It's just I mean, like a physical board. It's a very no, physical thing. Yeah. It's a very it, physical it. thing and not an emotional thing. I mean, I feel like that can go on for both parties, though. Say you're in a relationship and, you know, somebody's not given any type of sexual pleasure to the other person. Somebody is going to look for it somewhere, if, but also if they're not happy in that relationship. Women Not aren't always, women aren't driven but, by sex to the same degree that men are. Yeah. Well, well, at all. Besides true. those well, with well, like a true. high sex drive. Well, yeah, well, but that's I mean, it, even a woman with the highest with the highest sex drive isn't even going to come close to like a guy. Men have like 10 times as much testosterone as women. Women just oh, well, yeah. aren't in, as interested in sexual intercourse imagine as what, men are. Imagine yeah, a woman walking around with as much testosterone as a man. They that don't though. That's why I said imagine that's a big bitch. What would women need to do in order to keep their relationship interesting sexually like you're never going to satisfy a guy by yourself sorry never, not never. not the same person